we're back on the cloud survival server again. I'm Pastel. And I'm actually talking for once in one of these. This video is kind of an, a status update and an explanation on why I've just switched from doing pot fix to just the sheer block of Minecraft videos. You can probably tell my voice is really, really scratchy. Rough and scratchy. I have acid reflux that's gone untreated for a long time. And I have a lot of temporary solutions now, but it's still rough. It's been going on for such a long time that it's just been affecting my throat, I think. I cough a lot. Things always irritate my throat. My talking is just generally rough. And I don't think that's very good for Podfix. I can't record my voice for very long without it getting tired and sore. There's actually a large chunk of time between between the last Podfix I did and the first Minecraft video I did. On Cloud Survival, anyway. And yeah, I had a chunk of time, chunk of free time, when my job was kind of lacking on work. So I decided to just just go ahead and take the opportunity to try out making Minecraft videos, even if I didn't speak in any of them. I started watching Minecraft videos with Musealk, and then when he stopped doing Minecraft videos, I went and found other creators to watch. Got really into Hermitcraft, and when I watched Minecraft, watched Hermitcraft, I really wanted to do that too. But I just never thought I'd be able to do it. Like this talking and being fun and interacting with others on the server. I decided to just go for it this time, even without a mic. I've been having a lot of fun with it. I kind of wish I could keep doing these. I was thinking about joining a modded server with with the Origins mod. You know, since Afterlife and, and, all, and Dominion have been coming out, those SMPs have, be, have some big series that have just started and gotten a lot of popularity for the mod. And it got me interested too, you know. How fun would it be to run around as a tiny little inchling? Or thornling, like Jimmy is. But I don't think I have all that time left. It's not my chronic illnesses catching up, but... I got offered a job. A full-time job. You know, office work. Working with numbers and finances and all that. Gotta wear a fancy blazer and fancy work pants. But that would be... F but that would be full-time, and... And it's hard doing other stuff a lot of the time. Chronic illness and... Chronic fatigue and all that kind of takes away from total time in the day. The job hasn't yet started, but by the end of the month, I'll be there doing that. And my dreams of becoming a big Minecraft YouTuber would just slip away for a while. I'm not doing anything with this nether quartz, so I'm selling it on the shop. The nether resets every once in a while. Every month, I think. So everything in the nether and end is free for the taking and destroying. Since nether quartz is renewable like that, I don't have to worry about, about if someone else would like it better. Or if I'm taking away resources from others. I do hope people have been enjoying these videos. They're a lot of fun to make. And they make me happy. I've been using copyright free music in them. Just in case they do get monetized. A lot of the music I'm using for them is categorized as cu as country music. Not all of them sound very country. A lot of folk, but it's got good vibes. Good cottagecore vibes. Happy vibes. And you know, that's what I like to do. I want to make people happy. Let's sell this gold too. I like playing on multiplayer servers rather than solo. When I'm playing on multiplayer, it feels like I'm creating for others to others to see. And I want to create things 
They make people smile or be in awe when they see it. When it's just me on a server, I'm a lot less precise, I guess. I have a lot less care for what happens to the world. I don't care about making things pretty. I don't care about making anything. When I'm playing solo, it just feels like I should strip it down to the basics because what's the point in making anything being pretty? Why would I make anything big if no one's going to see it? It feels like a kind of selfish way of thinking. It's... How do I put it? It's that idea of feeling productive and finding something that makes you happy rather than doing things for other people. It's that social media influence of always wanting the likes and the clicks and the views when you just should do art for its own sake, I guess. But the multiplayer aspect really motivates me. I downloaded one Origins mod. Mod pack, I mean. There are a lot of them, actually. I tried playing around as an inchling. It was a bit overwhelming being so small and everything so big. I watched a video on... video on feedback on how to play the inchling. And I might use those if I... those tips if I play the inchling again. But I think I might play a Florian if I do play on an Origins SMP. The Florian is very plant-based, and as you can see, I like plants and terraforming. I was also thinking about Endarian. Just a casual, chill play style, but with that teleportation. And I'm not too concerned about not being able to go in water. I'm not playing with shaders right now, but when I do play with shaders, they usually make water invisible. <laughs> Near invisible, so it's hard to tell where water is if I'm playing with shaders. Let's take this and go back inside. And I made a new farm yesterday. Let's go check it out. It's over here. It's a cow spawner. I copied a design from someone else on the server. Oh, we can go check that out now, actually. I'll show you where, where is it? This way. This way, this way, this way. Here. There's another cow spawner. See all those cows? Cows, cows. Yeah. And there's tripwire hooks there. So when the cows move and trigger that, pushes them down here. And they burn on the lava blocks. Magma blocks. And look at my nether room. Nether portal room. And my enchanting room. It's very cute. The server has these little, little player heads for decorations, and I was thinking about getting more in here, but... You know, I've never really played with the mod, and there are just dozens of them. It's kind of like an overload of options. Now the nether resets every once in a while, but this one's still good. Where's my mine? I set up a little mine down to negative 14 so I could... There it is. So I could mine for ancient debris. Hello. And as you saw, I had access to to a couple XP farms, so it's no problem to no problem to get problem to the slot mending on everything and just just repair when I'm ready. And we got four ancient debris. The MC MMO mod that they have here allows you to get double drops when your mining level is high enough. So that's how. And with that same skill, sometimes I get double the ore blocks and then I later do do the pillaring thing that I did. And my voice is already hurting a lot. But I'm just showing you around. Shaders make everything pretty, but they can also make things a bit hard to see sometimes. Anyway, this is how I strip mine for ancient debris. 
Now, usually it tells me when things have things have have uh, gone out of stock at my shop, but we'll check anyway. Ooh, light blue dye. We'll just uh, take a bit of dye there, and there we go, back in stock. And I added terracotta yesterday because I found a huge terracotta biome in the resource world and someone made a TARDIS shop. It's really cool. It's a really cool build. And they used must have used a ton of blue dye for that blue concrete. Shoop. And now we go in. I think Gore is restocking. Yeah. Gore is the owner of this. This is second level too. I got slime balls. And I can just go back to base with this. And we're back here again. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I was fun doing an audio one, audio video this time. Don't expect more of them, but maybe. Could do that in the future. But bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>